Hello? 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 Hey guys, anyone learning to drive, please check out my driving course. There are 38 easy to understand videos on every single topic required to pass the driving test. Just watch the video before your driving lesson related to the topic you are covering on that day. This will give you the correct knowledge on that subject and you'll know exactly what you're supposed to do so you can get into the car fully prepared. This will definitely save you time and money on your driving lessons. Hey guys, welcome to the mock test video. So today we have Neil who's coming for a mock test and for those of you who haven't seen the videos before, Neil's not having lessons with me, he's come here for me to assess his driving to see if he's ready for his driving test because you're looking to book it, aren't you? Yeah? I'm looking to book it, yeah. Okay, so tell us a bit about your driving. So how many lessons have you had? I've had um, 10 hours of my instructor and um, I've had, um, I've had uh, hours in my own car as well. Cool, so just 10 hours with an instructor but you've had some private practice. Yeah, some private ones too, yeah. Cool, so do you feel ready for your driving test? I feel test? ready for your opinion. Okay. Any areas in your drive which you feel that you need more work on, or you're not that confident on? Um, not not as I know of, but um, at the end of the test, I leave down to you. Okay, cool, <laughs> cool. So um, all these, we'll do a, a full test route, just like it's going to be in your test. We'll do one manoeuvre. Have you been to the show me tell me questions? Show me, yeah, I've been to, um, show me tell me questions. Um, yeah, like with a bright light and infinite. Um, that's yeah. what kind of questions cool. school, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Uh, we'll go through a couple of those as well, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, you know how it works, yeah. If you do do a fault, I won't say anything to you. Until we'll, the end. Until the end, yeah. yeah Obviously, yeah. in the video, if he's edited, and the series faults being which colour? Yeah, yeah. Um, the series red. Red, and good. Then the, is it green? Um, Green's a good part. Good part, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the uh, normal driving faults are uh, amber, yeah, yeah, yellow, yeah. innit? Yeah. Yellow, yeah. yellow, amber, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, series faults. How much are you allowed on the test, the serious faults? Serious faults, one. Uh, yeah, well, zero. If you get one, well, it's a fail, yeah. Yeah, when you get one, it's a fail. Yeah. And then minor faults, 15, isn't it? Or yeah. 16? 15. Oh, yeah. Okay, 15. If you get 16, then it turns into a, a serious fault. Yeah. 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 Any more than you fail the test, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, any questions before we start? Um, hopefully, you like my driving. <laughs> okay, cool. So, we'll, well, like I said, uh, we'll see where you're at with your driving, yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, the tell me question before we move off. So, could you tell me how you check your brakes are working before starting the journey? Yeah, um, it has to feel spongy, like um, feel more pressure onto if you know what I mean, more sponge, spongy, and then um, the back if it's against a wall, if it's a wall, and you, you, um, you put your foot on it, like um, it comes on the wall, doesn't it? Then that's how you check if it's working or not. Okay, so you got a bit mixed up there. So you know with the, what you're saying about the wall, that's the brake lights. That's the brake lights. Yeah, yeah. So it's not about the brake. The brake lights is a different question. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Could you tell me how the brakes are the, working? So you know what you yeah yeah. I'm feeling spongy and um, it, it has to have some pressure onto it. Okay, so the correct answer for that is yeah. Okay, it shouldn't feel spongy or slack. The pedal shouldn't. Oh yeah. You apply yeah. with pressure. It yeah. shouldn't feel spongy or slack. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and also you know when you do brake. The car should not pull to one side. Yeah, so you, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, you know, if you start, you, you know, when you start to brake and the car pulls to one side, that means there's there's something, there's wrong, something wrong with the brakes. Okay, okay, okay. I right. haven't really um, revised um, the show me tell me questions. To be fair, but it's just some common sense anyway. What you should already know. Yeah, no, no, it's not really common sense. It is something you do need to revise. Yeah, okay, because um, uh, a lot of people think that. Common, common sense and like the examiner's not going to fail you straight away yeah mm. you know if you get if you get it wrong a lot of so a lot of people think oh it, it don't matter yeah but you know say you, like, you turn up for your test and you like the examiner asks you a question and you're like oh i, I don't know you get it wrong the examiner's going to think oh, you come for your test and you're not even like and you're not even ready, ready. You're oh, not, you're not, not going to fail you but it's about creating a good impression on yeah, the yeah, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, it's so, so it's about showing him that you still know even if you don't need to know but something you need to know really yeah yeah you should you, yeah, you need to know. Yeah, uh, you should also make sure you revise them, yeah. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Right, so uh, whenever you're ready, start the engine, and we won't be following the sat nav, yeah. We'll be um, following signs, yeah. Following okay? signs, they, they can make you follow signs or follow a sat nav, okay. Okay, okay switch okay. your radio off, <laughs> right? Yeah, so I'll move off whenever you're ready, please. When moving off, Neil forgets to release the handbrake. Your handbrake's on, yeah. Oh, then, man. At the end of the road, turn left. 
Neil does this junction well. He selects gear 1 just before he reaches the end and carries out good observations before emerging. We're now following signs to Warsaw, which is right at the traffic lights. Neil isn't too sure which way he's going, and therefore makes a couple of driving faults. On your driving test, if you're not too sure about which way to go, then you can ask the examiner, and they will help. Firstly, Neil signals too late, and then, as he's about to turn right, he takes too long. Got the wrong way. The traffic lights on the left and right turn green and he's obstructing the traffic so I have to ask him to move quicker. That's right, yeah, we're going right. Okay, a bit more gas, please. More gas. Yeah. So now if you can follow so I can take Dudley, please. Okay. Quite close together, I'll just help you. Yeah. Neil does this roundabout well. He exits onto the right hand lane, which is fine, as we are turning right again at the following roundabout. Here he gets too close to the vehicle in front. I'm still following the sign to do the uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you know which way you're going? Yeah, that way there. Again, Neil does this roundabout well, but after exiting the roundabout, he stays in the right hand lane. He should have switched over to the left lane a lot sooner, as the right hand lane is for overtaking or turning right. this roundabout, when going straight ahead, Neil should stay in the left lane, but he drifts over to the right as he enters. Luckily there is no one on our right hand side, and he doesn't fully go into the right lane, so this would be a driving fault, but it could have easily become a serious driving fault. Here Neil selects a left lane out of the two lanes which is good. This will position our vehicle in the left lane after the turn. But as he stops his braking is a bit too sharp.
At this left turn, Neil makes a serious driving fault. This turning is just before the traffic lights. There is a give way marking, so Neil should look to the right before emerging to the new road, but he doesn't check. We are approaching a bend ahead. Neil covers the brake pedal and has a correct speed for the road. At this right turn, Neil shows good awareness. He sees the vehicle reversing and waits before turning. When moving off, Neil doesn't prepare the vehicle by getting the biting point, therefore the vehicle rolls back slightly. The end of the road, turn right. Neil shows good control on this uphill junction. He selects gear one on approach and doesn't roll back. The speed changes from 30 to 20 miles an hour and I think Neil does see the sign as he slows down but then he speeds up again and is past the speed limit so I have to ask him to slow down. There is someone loading or unloading their vehicle and that person is in the road. Neil drives a bit too close, he should have left more space. There are parked vehicles on our left. So this means we'll have to change direction to the right. So it's important to check the centre and right mirrors to ensure that no one is overtaking. Neil misses these mirror checks. This left turn is quite narrow and Neil is aware of this. Tight turn like this. When approaching a tight narrow turn like this, gear 1 would be the appropriate gear, but Neil selects gear 2 and keeps the clutch down. When stopping on the left, you should check the centre and left mirrors before signalling and changing direction to the left. This is part of the MSM routine. Neil doesn't check these mirrors at the correct time. He parks opposite a road, which is not a safe place to park, and he also rushes for the clutch pedal. This is something Neil does frequently. We do have a chat about this at the end of the test. When moving off, Neil doesn't check his right blind spot. Here Neil decides to overtake the cyclist, but he gets very close, so I have to intervene. Neil notices the oncoming vehicle and holds back, which is good, but when moving off he gets too close to the parked vehicle. He needs to start steering earlier. When on a dual carriageway, 
it's important to build up to the speed limit if it's safe, so you don't hold up traffic. Neil builds his speed up well. When changing lanes, Neil shows good judgement and moves over safely. Here he has the choice of two lanes and he selects a left lane out of the two, which is good, as now we will be positioned in the left lane after the turn. He also keeps a good gap when stopping behind the vehicle. Neil approaches this roundabout well. He shows good judgement and stays in his lane. Now we've entered a car park and this is where I'll ask Neil to carry out the reverse bay parking manoeuvre. Before reversing, you should check all around. Neil doesn't carry out the correct observations before reversing. And before starting to steer left to head into the bay, it's vital to check all around, especially the right blind spot, as the front right of the vehicle will be swinging out. Again, Neil does his observations too late. Okay. <laughs> and if you could uh, move off when you're ready, please just drive out that way. Drive around, yeah, around. Yes, please, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the next roundabout turn right is the next. When turning right or left at a roundabout, the signal should be applied around six car lengths before the roundabout. Neil applies the signal too late. We're taking the third exit at this roundabout, so at around this point by the second exit, Neil should start checking the centre and left mirrors and prepare to move over to the left lane to exit the roundabout. 
After the mirrors, Neil should apply the left signal and if it's safe, start to move over to the left. But Neil doesn't carry out the routine in the correct order and moves over too late. This roundabout can go straight ahead, second exit. Okay. At this roundabout, Neil makes a serious driving fault on lane discipline. After entering the roundabout, instead of staying in the left lane, Neil starts to drift over to the right. There is a lorry on our right hand side, so I have to come in. On this road, the speed limit is 30 miles an hour. As we're going downhill, the speed of the vehicle increases, so Neil should have eased off the gas pedal, but he's going too fast, so I have to ask him to slow down. Here now, I'll ask Neil a show me question, which he gets wrong. Yeah, could you show me how to demiss the back screen? Demiss the... Um... That's what we should get, that's the water. To demiss it. Demiss the... Uh... That's the lights. <laughs> nah, you know, not, nah. Just that button. Oh, that button, nah. Yeah, to demiss it, yeah. It's the same in like most cars that's good. Yeah, yeah. Turn left. Yeah. First of all, it's about washing, washing them, the back screen. Turn left, yeah. Turn left. Turn left. Now we're back at the test centre and Neil's phone is about to ring. How do you think that went? Um, I, I think I messed up a couple of times. I think I did mess up a few times. Pass or fail? Fail. Yeah, you fell. Do you know what on? The boy and the, um, the, um, the guy on the band on the bike. Yeah, the bike holds one. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, going around that roundabout as well when that lorry was next to me. Yeah, that one as well, yeah. yeah so yeah. is that it's just them two? Yeah, there was some more though as well. But those two, yes. Yeah, so let's talk about those two. With the cyclist, obviously you do his head right in front of us. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um I think this is the thing that you need to work on overall, you know, your clearance. Like, you know, with the with the park need more, as well. more space. Yeah, that wasn't especially with the, this is what the cyclist did did. Um that happens obviously to avoid a pothole or a drain. They might and the wind could drag them in as yeah, well, exactly. So you should have left a lot of space as well. You need to leave at least one and a half meters. Okay. Yeah. Well, what's more mindful of what I could work on? So the, obviously uh, that was one. You know, even you know when you're, you, you know when there's parked cars in the way and there's oncoming vehicles. Could you notice and you know you're stopping and you're letting the cars pass, which is good. Yeah, when the parked cars on your side, so that that part's good. But then when you are stopping, yeah, and then you, when you're moving off again, you're getting too close to the. So see this car parked in front of us. Yeah, yeah. Say so you stop. Stop a bit further back here. Yeah. You know when you yeah a bit more further back here. Yeah. And when you drive out, don't get too close to so the front front left of our car. 
gets really close to the back right of that. Yeah. That for loads of times. Okay. Yeah. Today you're doing that as a normal thing at the moment, yeah. Okay. So I just need to work on that or that as well. Um Is it um, would you say this is a bad driving test though this this one? Oh you've got the ability, like your test isn't booked, yeah. Okay. It's just another handful of lessons, yeah. You could you could easily easily get ready, but you know the faults that you're making? Yeah. You know, because obviously you've been driving your car, yeah. You'll be taking private practice there with the family member or whoever, yeah. And these are the kind of habits that you pick and like rushing for the clutch a lot of times. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Are you using any any routines? Um, no, no. So name me a routine in driving. Um, that you should the one that you should use for like taking turn or when you're approaching a roundabout. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, just make make sure um, you you maintain control of the clutch. And um, when when you when you're just about to approach a roundabout, make sure you put it in second gear. Then yeah. if no other cars are coming in, blow the spot. Then just carry on going. Obviously, that part's okay. But you know, uh, when I said a routine, do you know? Have you heard of any routines? Routine. Like MSM. Yeah, 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 mirror signal manoeuvre. Yeah. yeah, MSPSL, mirror signal position speed lug, which is an exp expansion of uh, mirror signal manoeuvre. I'm not good with position of vehicles in FN Open. We'll, we'll go through that, but like I said, you asked me what the main thing is to improve. If you start using these routines, yeah, okay, just that one routine, uh, mirror signal position speed lug, start using the routine, yeah, and applying that to your driving, that'll solve a lot of issues for you at the moment. Like, so when you're approaching a roundabout, yeah, you were just signaling whenever. Right at the end. Oh, when are you yeah, supposed yeah. to signal? You, you meant signal um, just before you approach the roundabout. Just before you get there. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Alien? yeah so you know if you're going to take a normal left turn, you have to get around about normal left turn. Would you signal left just just at the turn, or would you do it earlier? You do it earlier. Exactly. Yeah. Same with the roundabout. The roundabouts you're doing your signals later. How early? How early? Um, like, would you do it? You'd How do would you do it for a normal turn? Like, say if I was turning to. The term, the test centre now, I'd probably signal um, just as I get past this this um, this golf. Yeah, or even when you're like you know where we are now. Do you do yeah. 30 miles an hour about here? Yeah, about yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so okay. same for a roundabout. Okay. What about um, speed limit spin? Yeah. So um, you you're, just that all, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're another two serious faults on the speed speed limits as well. So um, the first one, it's like we're on a 30 road, then you change to 20. Yeah, you notice the sign as well because you mm. slow down. Yeah, mm. you slow down. You got to about twenty-two, so okay, that's okay. Yeah, but then you went up to like twenty-six, and then I, had to, oh, okay. I said your knees off the gas here. Yeah, mm. and then you came off the gas. Mm. So you, did you know oh, it was yeah, a twenty oh, there? Yeah, yeah. I think I did cl um, clock the speed limit as well. Yeah, and then what happened? Then you went. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No, no. So that was one, and then um, towards the end, when the road went slightly downhill, yeah, you were doing thirty. And just shot up to like 36, 37 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. And again, that's, that's a 30 miles an hour shoot as well. Yeah. Okay. And both of those would have been serious for speed. Yeah. Um, so I'm the last one to sell I need now. So one sec, should we go through the default to some more yet? Yeah, yeah, got that. Got <laughs> right. that, got that. So you know at the start here, we actually to follow signs to Warsaw. There was a sign just before the bridge, yeah. Saying Warsaw is to the right. Yeah. So you, as soon as you went uh, went under the bridge, you went um, you went into the right hand lane. Yeah. And then you start looking for signs. You weren't sure where we were going, yeah. Mm. But you went into the right-hand lane. Which lane? Which way does that lane go? The right. Yeah, to the right. Yeah, to Early the right. goes to the right. Yeah, so you can't right. really go straight ahead from that lane anyway. No. And then you didn't signal to get into that lane. Your signal was really late again because you were you were unsure about where you're going. Yeah. But yeah. you know, if you're unsure, whichever lane you're in, just go that way, even if it's the wrong way. Yeah. You can't fail for going the wrong way. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what I heard as well. That if you go the wrong way, you just continue going the wrong way. Don't try and um, you put yourself in danger yeah, exactly. or put anyone else in danger yeah. by going the other way. Yeah. And you're in the right. Then you you're still thinking about which way to go. And then the lights turned red, so you had to move. And you took you took a while moving off. Mm. And then what happened? There's traffic from the right. They're, they're getting biting. really close, exactly. Yeah, 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 and I said, biting. come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a serious fault there. That was so, all uh, so I'm in bad faults with yourself, got then? Um, with with it, today. With it, let's, like I said, it's nothing that you need loads of lessons on, yeah. But if you're taking practice in your own car, yeah, use the routines, put it into practice at the moment. Just like, you're not really thinking too much. One second, being sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Go on, that again. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, um, where else did we have? We've talked about that one. Okay, you know when you know when you turn right around about, yeah. Okay, and uh, which lane should you come off in? 
which line should you exit off him? Say you turn in right third exit. Yeah, which line should you exit off him? So, so you, you've approached a roundabout, you've entered it in the right hand lane, yeah. Okay, you t say you're taking the third exit for instance, yeah. Okay, so do you know when you're coming off the roundabout, when, you, when you're exiting, yeah, mm. which lane should you exit in? Right, and um, the right lane. Or? Yeah. So, do you know as soon as you get um, to the second exit, yeah? Yeah, Do you yeah. know what you're supposed to start doing? I'll signal in. Signal which way? Well, if you're going around a circle, um, say three exits, and you're going through the third one, um, as you go, Around the two, but not the um, not the single line. Because if you do, uh, if you sing if you sing, signal up the single line of um, over road users, you think you're going up that way. So you wait until you go past the two um, the two exits, then you signal to go up the third one. Yeah, so that makes sense. What you said to when you go when you get past the second one, then you signal left. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. What do you mean by single line when you said single line? Um, well, it's double lines to give way, isn't it? It's a single line, but you drive up. If you know what I mean. Oh, you're on about, you know, the, 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 the exits. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they give So, um, story about it, as soon as you get past the second exit, yeah? Or well, even when you're level, so you start good, checking, yeah. checking, and which mirror should you check there? Um, sorry, say that again, Pin. Which mirror should you check at that point? Hello? I'll finish now. And while Neil's on the phone, let me take this chance to thank everyone who's downloaded the Ultimate Driving Course. A big thank you to you all. And please keep sending me your comments on Instagram or Snapchat at DGN Driving. Right, then I'll send a bit of Sauce what you say? No worries. So, um, yeah, you know when you turn right to a roundabout? Mm. As soon as you get to the second exit, mirrors, which mirrors? Um. Always look in the the the, um, the centre and well when you come up a new road when you come up a new road it's centre and right centre and right so it's always centre so and right. So forget the new road we're we're on a roundabout yeah we're turning right third exit yeah we got to the second exit which mirrors are you going to check there? Got to the second um, centre and left. Yes, yeah, centre and left. Which signal are you going to put on? The left. Good. So you're going to check those mirrors. What are we looking in those mirrors for? These mirrors. Yeah. Um, what are, we, no. what are we checking both those mirrors for at that point? In case there's oncoming cars, like yeah, oncoming traffic. In case there's anyone overtaking. There's no yeah. one overtaking, yeah. Well, you should position from this lane to that lane. To that lane, And yeah, you're not yeah. doing that. Mm. Yeah, you're sticking to the right. Yeah, so on, on the first two roundabouts, okay, we came off in the right, not a big deal, yeah. And then on this other one, we were supposed to move over to the left. You left it really late. Yeah, mm. luckily there was there was no one coming. So okay, okay. try and work on that. Try and your positioning moving over. And then... Um, you know one of the roundabouts when you did come off in the right, yeah? You kept driving in the right hand lane on the dual carriage for quite a while. Which lane should you drive in? Left. What's the right lane for? Overtaking. Exactly, so you know it there. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got the knowledge, but you're not, you're not doing I'm it. Not, I'm not actually doing it, I'm not actually following it, am I? Exactly. Yeah, yeah? okay. So oh, okay. you've got to put, the, put, this, put this stuff into practice, just think a bit more about the routines, what are you doing. How many hours lessons do you think I need now than pin? Um, like I said, you know, if you got you got a massive, massive advantage if you got your own car, so you could have one lesson, sort the stuff out, yeah, okay, then put it into practice in your own car. Yeah. But if you don't, if you get into your own car, just drive however, you ain't gonna. Mm. You, then you need quite a lot, loads of lessons. You could so do this you, in so, a couple so, of lessons. Um, so you're saying go back within an in in for like two hours. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have about three one-hour lessons, yeah, with an instructor. Yeah, if you're so gonna three hours in. Yeah, m yeah, minimum, as long as you're going to put that into practice in your own car. Yeah, in yeah. If you didn't have your own car, I'd say at least another like seven, eight hours. If you've got your own car and you're going to practice in that, yeah, um, do that. Okay, okay, the other okay. stuff, um, we've got, we got to the speed one, we've got to the cyclist one. Okay, you know when you move off, yeah? Mm. Um, you know when you move off, when you're in a park position, yeah? You're, do you, what kind of routine are you supposed to use? In what order are you supposed to do anything? What's the first thing you're supposed to do? So check you know, your you shoulders, pop. check your shoulders, then check your mirrors. Then um, obviously no. check your shoulder and your mirror again. So that's the observation. Before you observe, you're supposed to get your car ready. Your car ready, yeah. yeah. How do we get a car ready? Um, by turn it on first. Um, put the handbrake down, then you pull it in gear. Okay, see, the handbrake down is in the car ready. You're putting the handbrake down first, yeah? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Again, it's not massive. It's not something the examiner's going to fail you for, yeah? But that's not how uh, your instructor would have taught you. Mm. So you're supposed to get your gear and that, yeah, biting point ready, yeah, and then have a look around. If it's safe, 
obviously do your signal there if it's necessary then put the handbrake down just as you're about to move oh so you put it in gear first and don't you yeah, get the voiding then, point then you put the handbrake yeah. on and also you're rolling back a little bit yeah mm. you got to get the voiding or handbrake's the last thing you do yeah, okay yeah. so try and work uh, move off from the using the correct, correct routine is called the palm routine yeah okay okay, okay okay and the other thing finally uh, the bay parking you got in the lines which was good yeah what do you think about your observations there? Eh? My observation was more good at all. Yeah. It wasn't good at all, my yeah. observations. There you go. So you got to use more observations doing um, a, um, a reverse by parking than just being normal on road, of course. haven't you? So whenever you're doing any manoeuvre, before you start reversing, did you check all around properly? Nah, they do nah. you, you got to make sure you check your shoulders more yeah. than anything as well. you got to check it. Just imagine you're in a busy shopping car park with kids and that around, people yeah. with trolleys. Exactly. You yeah. can't just reverse back like you did, yeah. Mm. And as soon as you start to steer to the left, yeah, your car swings out, yeah. Like with the, with the parallel parking and with the, the other manoeuvres where your car, car swings out. As soon as it swings out, well, before it swings out, where are you supposed to look? Always over your shoulders. Yeah, always, so, all, always off your shoulders and your mirrors. Yeah, but especially that right blind spot because that's where your car's swinging out. That's towards, where, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. You, and there you, could be children or anything like exactly. running in front of the car. Hey, and you checked it, but you checked it really late. Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, you still need to improve a little bit. Yeah, but like I said, you, you haven't got your test booked yet. Yeah. Okay, like I said, three, four hours with the instructor and a bit more practice in your old car. Yeah, you know, when you're approaching stuff, you just try and like notice it a bit sooner sooner and stop braking rather than rushing for the clutch and braking a bit late okay, okay, yeah? yeah okay don't rush into situations okay okay, okay? okay, okay. you got to do all there but just rushing a little bit yeah rushing that, okay. that's all it is really so other than that though do you think i'm all right uh, like, um, do you think i've got it there or not or not yet like i said yeah if you put the practice in you practice in yeah, first, yeah, so, like, then you get um, a few more of my instructors or something then um yeah come back here probably like in, in the middle of october or something yeah yeah, 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 that's uh, that sounds like a good plan. Would you still call me uh, to um, to assistance uh, if I pay you? Uh, um, my instructor is asking too much as well. To uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in a bit, yeah, because it's still on camera at the moment. Oh, okay, oh, right. oh, oh, okay, yeah, right. yeah. So, um, yeah, so, uh, okay, um, yeah, that's it really, yeah. So, uh, thanks a lot for doing the mock test. Hopefully, it helped you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Us, yeah okay, <laughs> and uh, guys, like always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.